my channel i hope you all doing extremely well and for today's video i'm going to create this look ever since i've got makeup peak duo for my shadows i'm just using those ones i'm really really enjoying these duo for my shadows i thought today i'll create a look using one of those and i've used this karma eyeshadow the duo for my shadow which is my favorite and i came up with this look i know this time of the year you'll be having a lot of weddings to attend and i think this is going to be like a really really pretty look for any kind of night time events like reception or some days or wedding itself but i think this is a bit overpowering for a daytime look so yes this is going to be look, this is going to be a really good for a night time look and especially if you are wearing like heavy outfits and heavy jewelry this is going to look wonderful if you haven't got the geochrome uh, eyeshadow don't worry you can just use um, a gold eyeshadow or any highlighter or any gold highlighter you can just dab it in the center of the lid and you can follow the same steps which i have shown in the tutorial so yes if you like this look and if you want to know how to get this look then keep on watching so i've already moisturized my face and i'm going to start with my color bar primer I'm just using this primer just to help the foundation apply really smoothly because uh, in these colder months, this part of my face it gets really really dry and the foundation kind of clings to the dry patches and this kind of, this one helps me with that. Just gonna take a bit. And now I'm going with my MAC Select Moisture Cover Concealer. I use this concealer for my dark circles and also to cover up some other blemishes. This one got a bit of um, peachy tint to it, so it kind of helps to get rid of the darkness under my eyes. The reason I use this concealer first and foundation later is this one got a bit of darker tint to it. So if I use foundation first and I use this concealer on top of the foundation, you can easily see the difference. So I use this one and, and for today I'm going to use this L'Oreal Infallible Foundation. I'm just going to take that on the back of my hand. I'm going to take this uh, Real Techniques Buffing Brush. The reason I'm using my buffing brush instead of my beauty blender is something really really bad happened this morning like whenever I want to fill in I kind of plan everything and I'll take out all the products I want to use and I'll keep them aside so that I can do my household work and come back and do the filming that kind of makes my life easy so for today morning I'm searching for my beauty blender but I couldn't find it I thought I might be misplaced it and I kept it somewhere else but what happened is I was taking out my eyeshadow palette and I kind of stored all my eyeshadow palettes in a big tin and I found my beauty blender there and it was all molded it got a lot of black spots on top of that I thought first I thought that maybe any eyeshadow was broken and it kind of spilled on top of that but everything all eyeshadows were good and I tried to clean the beauty blender but it was not cleaning all the black spots were there so then I realized okay it's not eyeshadow actually it is molded and it kind of broke my heart because that damn thing is really really expensive first and I kind of really used to that beauty blender for my foundation and concealer a lot it feels really weird when I'm using brush now um, but anyway I've got one more beauty blender with me because when I was buying that I bought a twin pack so yes I bought them from Luxora and today morning I tried to order them again but unfortunately beauty blender they they decided to stop shipping to India I don't know why but yes that's my story that's the disaster happened today morning so make sure guys whenever you store a beauty blender a wet sponge do not store in a tin or a box let it dry completely outside and then put it in a box and also make sure you store it in a horizontal way like this one not in a vertical way so back to the look i'm going to do my eyebrows and come back and do the rest of the look with you guys so i'm back guys as you can see i've done my eyebrows and one of my eye and 
I've also done a bit of contouring and I'm going to show you on this eye what I've done. Um, I've also primed my eyelid and to start the look I'm going to use this Makeup Geek eyeshadow, Peach Smoothie. Uh, all the eyeshadows I'm going to use in this um, tutorial or from Makeup Geek. Make sure you cover the entire lid wherever you have primed because we don't want that stickiness. As you can see I've used all the dark eyeshadows and if you apply a dark eyeshadow on a sticky base it is going to stick at one place and it will be really hard to blend the eyeshadows. So make sure you use a flesh toned eyeshadow or you can just use your compact powder and just pat it all over the lid. And now I'm going to take this eyeshadow called Frappe. This is like a warm brown eyeshadow. This is going to act as a transition for our look today. I'm going to apply this in the crease and a bit above the crease and I'm taking that into the inner corner as well. Like as you can see, I'm just doing a windshield wiper motion and I'm taking that to the inner corner. And now I'm going to take our second darker shade. This is called Cocoa Bear and this is like a deep brown eyeshadow and I'm going to do the same. I'm just I'm going to apply this in the outer corner, in the crease and in the inner corner. I'm starting with the outer corner and slowly blending that into the crease. And, and I'm taking that in the inner corner as well. This look is quite similar to the look which I have done previously, like the Halo Smoky Eye look. It is really similar to that one. And I'm going back with a blending brush. I haven't added any more product, I'm just blending those edges to get a soft smoky effect. I'm adding a bit more of the deep brown shade. To the outer and my inner corners, and I'm blending them in the crease. Make sure you blend away the eyeshadows whenever you add more product, that is going to give you more softer and smoky effect. And now it's time for the darker shade, and the darker shade I'm going to use is called Ditten. This is like a deep maroon shade with like really strong red undertones. And I'm going to place this on the outer corner as well as in the inner corner. But I'm going to make sure I'm not passing that brown. Like I'm going to keep this eyeshadow, this dark eyeshadow, like really on the outer corners and really to the inner corners because we need that transition. Same goes with the inner corner as well. Make sure you do not pass the brown eyeshadow which we have applied in the previous step. And now I'm going back with the blending brush. I'm blending these eyeshadows in the crease. Just keep on adding the colors till you get your desired intensity. and blend the eyeshadows. I'm just going back with that brown eyeshadow brush. I haven't added any more product. I'm just blending them in the crease so that we can get a nice transition over them. So here comes the star of the show. I'm going to take this a beautiful geochrome eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. This is called Karma and I'm going to pat it over the center of my lid uh, where we have created that halo effect. I'm just going to apply it in the center. If you want, you can definitely wet your brush and um, apply this eyeshadow, but I'm really happy with the intensity I've got here. I'm just going to blend these eyeshadows. I haven't added any more product. I'm just going to take that brown into that chill eyeshadow. 
I'm just going to use my Body Shop Liquid Eyeliner and I'm going to line my upper lash line with this one. I'm just going to do a little brim. I'm just going to take off this tape and I'm going to clean my wings a little bit. And now I'm going to take my Shambo Radiant Touch Up Concealer and I'm going to highlight my under eye area of this one. I must say I really don't like this concealer, like this is a really really dry formula. I really don't like this one. This one is really hard to blend. Like it doesn't move at all, even though if it moves, it kind of looks really patchy. I'm just going to wet my brush with this uh, Vichy Thermal Spa Water. Kind of helps to help blend this concealer properly. And I'm going to use my Bite and Doris powder to set my under area. And coming back to the eyes, I'm going to take my Mibli Colossal Kajal and I'm going to run it over my lower lash line like really really little bit, not a lot. And I'm also lining my upper waterline with this one. And now I'm going to take this same dark eyeshadow vision and I'm going to smudge this kajal away with this one. And now I'm going back with this cocoa wear and I'm going to run a bit of that on my lower lash line. Um, it's like exactly what we have done on top of the eyelid. I'm just going to reciprocate that on my lower lash line. And now I'm going back with the frappe and I'm going to blend all these eyeshadows away. And now for my waterline, I'm going to take this Revlon Photo Ready Kajal and I'm going to use this nude eyeliner side. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. I'm also going to use some false lashes for this look. And I'm using my L'Oreal Volume Million Lashes Mascara for this. And the lashes I'm going to use are these Adel Demi Lashes. These are really good when you're doing a subtle wing. They kind of really help to accentuate that wing eyeliner. So with this kind of look, you can do a red tone blush that will look totally beautiful and also you can do a deep mauveish blushes, they will look really really good. But today I'm going to use this Revlon highlighting palette, this is in the shade Bronze Glow. This one got a bit of mauve and a bit of gold and a bit of brown, so I'm using this one. I'm just going to swirl my brush in these four strips. As you can see this kind of acts as a highlighter as well and it also adds a lot of warmth to the look. And now I'm going to take the same uh, palette and I'm going to take this lighter shade and I'm going to use this as a highlighter for my brow bone. And I'm also going to apply that a bit in the inner corners. Just to look that area. So for this look you can go with like a deep red lipstick like um, not on the face red but you can go with a deep red with a lot of burgundy undertones that is going to look totally beautiful and also if you want you can definitely use something uh, like deep purple that is going to look perfect but if you want to play safe you can definitely go for a neutral lip. So for today, I'm going to use this lipstick from Maybelline. Um, this is from their Moisture Extreme range and it is in the shade Cranberry. I frankly don't remember when I bought this shade. This is like a beautiful 
brownish red kind of shade. This really is smooth. So this is the finish look guys. I hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial guys. I really love the way how it turned out. This is like really really good. I'm really enjoying these duochrome eyeshadows lately. I think everybody should invest on some of this because these are really really pretty. And yes, uh, do let me know in the comments what you guys think of this look. And if you like this look, give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any requests or any suggestions, do share them in the comments below. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.